Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Racha Chadash. I want to give double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Most of the Rule Well. Uh, it's going to be a quick lesson, excuse me, on a, on a, uh, I'm going to title the video, The Initiation, man. Okay. And, um, you know, with everything, you know, with any um, body, you know, there's always um, some form of initiation. And, you know, the Lord has his initiation um, when you come into this truth, when you come to serve him. And we're going to get into that, man. This is uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, and the sons, is referring to the Israelites, okay? You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and anyone else that descends through that line, man. Okay, it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So, if you're coming to serve the Lord, if you're coming to this truth, okay, you hear this word, you, you know, you believe, then you got to start preparing your soul for temptation. You're going to start getting tempted, man, okay, by Satan, man. It says, Set thy heart aright, yeah, and what says heart there? That's the Hebrew word, la'ab, is talking about um, the mind. Okay, so it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure, which means to make hard, okay? And make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him, and the, and who's that talking about? It's talking about Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away, so get close to him, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end, man. Okay, so when you come into this truth, basically, you're going to have to start enduring things, okay? You're going to have to set your heart aright towards the Lord, okay, a big thing about it is, is repentance, and you're going to have to go through different manif manifold temptations, man, you're going to get tested, man, you know, uh, in many different diverse ways, All right, but it says, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end, and that's talking about the, the riches, man, in the kingdom of heaven, man, okay, that's talking about the, the end result, that's talking about the, uh, you know, the everlasting righteous kingdom of Israel, man, you know, and all the, 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 you know, the beautiful things that come with that, man. Uh, eternal rulership, man. You know? It says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, right? Take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Now I'm going to go back up to verse 4. It says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So whatever it is, man, you know, uh, you know, don't marvel when you come into this truth and, you know, things start to get really fucked up, man. You might feel, you know, you know, your family start coming against you, you know, your friends start coming against you, you know, your, your, your woman might come against you, you know, your, your children, you know, you might lose them, you know, your, your, your health starts to deteriorate, you know, uh, you just, you're just walking around you're just walking around in general okay you might be trying to mind your own business you know demons are just jumping on people and you know they're trying to fuck up your day man you know all the crazy shit that you never probably experienced before so you know believe it's going to start happening man okay these demons are going to start jumping on these fucking people out there okay like uh like you know agents in the matrix and you just got to be always ready man okay and cleave on to the lord man Right? That's why it says whatsoever, man. Now I'm going to get a quick preset. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. It says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Right? So if the Lord loves you, that means he's going to chastise you, man. It says, And scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Now remember what it said at the start. It said, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord. So if you come to serve the Lord, you're being received in by the Lord, man. Okay? The Lord has ordained you and chosen you to serve him. He says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Because we ain't right. You know? We ain't right. So we need to be corrected, man. That's part of that repentance, man. You know, repenting. It says, If you endure chastening, right? And, it, and again, it goes again with the constantly endure. It says, The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Yeah, man. But, hey, the, the Lord cares about us, man. Okay, he sees us as sons. So obviously, when you come to serve him, 
okay he's gonna want want to want to amplify you want to make you better man okay so you're gonna get um chastised because your ways are, are not right man your ways are of the world and that's enmity with the most high man it says but if you be without chastisement whereof all are partakers then are you bastards and not sons <laughs> there you go so you want to be chastised man you don't want to be a no hell dodger man that means you're doing something right man it says furthermore we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live because hey the father of spirits you have washed me or shy is gonna <laughs> Is is gonna give us ultimate life, man? Okay. You don't you don't wanna you don't the issues of death belong unto the Lord, man. So he can give you that gruesome judgment, man. It says, for they verily are for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure. That's you know our fathers in the flesh, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. It says now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous. So you're not gonna you know. That, that don't mean that, you know, okay, you're coming to this truth, you know you're going to catch some hell. That you got to, you know, you're going to particularly enjoy the hell, you know. It says, but grievous. Now, when you're going through it, it's going to seem grievous. It's going to be fucked up, man. It's going to really test you, man. It says, nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby, man. So, you know, there's always lessons to be learned and growth to have of, be had of it. When you come to serve the Lord and you repent and you, and you humble yourself, and you get into that contrite spirit, man you know and another thing is don't get tired of it man you know don't get tired of asking for it either man for the lord to test you man you know because that's in the scriptures it says proverbs 3 and 12 for whom the lord loveth he correcteth even as a father the son in whom he delighteth so hey you want you know oh sorry i'll read it from 11 it says my son despise not the chastening of the lord Neither be wary of his correction. You know, let me look at that word wary quickly, which I believe it kind of means like to get tired. You know, a poor, weary, to be greed, love, a bore, feel a loving. Okay. You know. Alright, yeah. So, yeah, man, you know. Don't be running away from that from that hell, man. He says, "For whom the Lord loveth, He correcteth, even as a father in the son, in father the son in whom He delighteth." So, by the Lord doing that, the Lord really is showing you that He loves you, man. Okay. And what did Yahweh Shai do? Okay. Yahweh Shai was was uh, tested, man. Yahweh Shai was um was you know he had to go up on the cross. He had to do. He had to go through what he had to go through for his own sins and for the sins of Israel, man. You know. But look what hey, look what Yahweh Shai said as soon as he got on the scene. He said, um, this is Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. It says, from that time Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's the same thing that John the Baptist was saying, man. Okay, all in one stead. Because that's what it's about. The kingdom of heaven, okay, is at hand, man. Okay, these prophecies are coming to pass. We're in the last days right now. Okay. And this is the time to repent. And part of that repentance is uh, you're gonna get you're gonna get you know you gotta f repent for the 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 things that you've done man not only in this life but the previous lives man there's a thing as known as reincarnation in the scriptures okay it says in Ecclesiastes one the thing that I've been is that which shall be you know there's many other scriptures on that but that's another lesson for another time so you know one thing you gotta know in when you come in to serve the Lord is uh, repentance man you know. If you've got regardless of what you got to lose, there's many scriptures about if you lose things, the Lord will give you manifold in the in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, you know, especially if you lose a woman, man, because you know the Lord, <laughs> the Lord Isaiah four and one, man. You know, seven women shall take hold of one man. You know, I think Isaiah three. You know, uh, a man shall be a hiding place. Um, you know, uh, in the from the wind. To these women. So, you know, the, all these things that we're going through now is to build us up, man. Okay? For the Lord to come back and, and to, uh, you know, we repent and the Lord to come back and redeem us and change us, man. Okay? So that we can enjoy the fruits of the kingdom, man. You know? 
anyway, uh, this is just a quick one. You know, I just wanted to hit the point. I'm just going to end on this one quickly. Um, is this what I wanted? Uh, nah, it's free. Right, there we go. Straight to the point. Oh, I'm going to start from 18 because it links up again with Surat 1. Surat 2, sorry. Because it said, for gold is tried in a fire, right? And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So that's talking about, that gold is talking about men there. There's a revelation uh, 3 and 18. I counsel thee to buy me of gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, <coughs> and anoint thine eyes with eyesal, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. So another thing about this is being zealous towards repenting, man. You know, being zealous toward the Lord, man. Because, hey, we're, we're almost out of here, man. The prophecies are popping. You know, so, hey, you know, we're coming into heavy times. Brothers are going through things, you know. And, you know, and new brothers that are coming in. You know, don't be, don't be surprised if you start catching hell, man. You know, that's part and parcel of the initiation of this truth, man. That the Lord will put you through. So I hope that's been edifying, you know, until the next lesson, man. You know, shalom. Yeah.